Hello and welcome, it's Jelly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I've got this lovely little canvas which is really nice to put into a frame, like a, uh, just um, what you call them, the deep edge frames, box frame or something, and they're really nice to give as a gift. I have this custom colour which was just white with a dash of my Berry Delicious in there and it actually had some remnants of the ultra metallic prism paint golden honey believe it or not but what that's done is give this paint a really beautiful glow glistening a glow just gorgeous so I'm going to use this as my base paint see how I go so it's kind of a really a dusty pink it's not candy it's a really nice dusty pink so using my little offset spatula and you really just take your time enjoy the process it, what's that saying it's the journey and not the destination or that's it it's the journey and not the destination something like that I'm sure you guys will remind me so that's covered that in my nice Jilly's Dusty Pink radio. So that is glow, glowing nicely, very nice. So what I'm going to do with this to give it a nice lacy background, hopefully, 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 is I've got some of my Berry Delicious and it's my, uh, no, this is the, sorry, this is the, or Amsterdam purple I think ultraviolet or something like that and it's just mixed with Australian Floetrol so I want to put quite a thick line there to do my swipes down it to hopefully get some nice laciness ooh look at that looky looky wow <gasps> That is so pretty. The lacing is just beautiful. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's got no um, flow, uh, what you call it, uh, silicon in it. So it's so much nicer without the silicon causing you problems when you come to varnish it. There you go. So it's just creating a background for me. Quite nice. I'll do something with that thicker area up there in a little while. Let's um, create what I have in mind first. I don't mind missing out. That is so gorgeous. You really need to bring you down to have a look at this laciness. But in the meantime, I am going to do, I'm going to put some more of that in each corner. Now I've done this before, this same exact same thing in greens, gorgeous greens. So now I'm doing it in lovely berries. So that was my previous one in the greens and I did a blue swipe and it gave this beautiful laciness and then I did finger kisses. So, and this is gorgeous, it's really lovely. So I'm going to try it, of course, with some more berry colours, but I want to add this ultraviolet, no, fluoro. I'm going off on a tangent here, fluoro orange in there. And then I'll add, maybe I'll go the, this is my berry delicious. This is made out of my global paints and it is the deep red or cool red with a blob of phthalo blue and a little blob of black if you want it to go even darker. I'm just gonna put some white again. This has just got the Floetrol in it with the ultra, ultra white. So it will really make, oh, some cells. That nearly ended up all over my work. This is the uh, ultraviolet purple of Global Paints. So keeping in that nice berry and then I'll go with the uh, cool red which is a cherry, cherry berry 
cherry berry delicious and I really want to blow these colours out so I might for more of that lacy and more of the white so let's see how we go with these particular ones I'm going to give this a whiz over with my heat wand blow out with my little baby bailus. Righty ho, which way do I want to go? Could I? Mm, probably could do with a little bit of defining through here. It is, oh, when I bring you in close, you'll be able to appreciate it a little bit more, I think. But I'm going to add some of my embellishments to this. It is really lacy in here really gorgeous and then I'll give these a softer edge by getting my balloon that has a little bit of water and it just gives a bit of weight that's all doing some kind of effects on there that looks like some blossom hanging there Just takes away from that solidness I can finish the edge off after that's just added that bit now I will add some cutters it'll bring up that center to my bloom effect so kiss and bloom that one's got so much lovely lace add some kisses in and some of the thick where the paint is quite thick rather than try and blow it any further I can add some balloon embellishments I guess you can do whatever you choose to do remember it's your art your rules your way don't listen to the naysayers people that want to put you down or steal your light do it your way wow that is really gorgeous oh my word look at that looky looky i'm going to bring you down for a close-up because it is so gorgeous ooh, ooh, ooh. wow anybody that loves the berries is gonna really love this look at this wow those colors made up such stunning effects together that fluoro orange of global is just the bomb gorgeous look at that they look like real gems in there and this lacing look at this so pretty i mean you could just have a whole painting of that lacing on top of just a plain black or white that's gorgeous look looky oh so nice look at those lovely gems oh you must try it this one's very easy very simple beautiful gift to give somebody so when that's dry that definitely deserves a coat of um maybe resin certainly gloss coating will do it justice too it is a really pretty one and i'm very very happy with that so what do you think of that is it a yay or a nay? It might not be your colours. You probably might be more into the greens. So I just thought I'd try a little series of these in the different colours. So the greens and the berries, and then maybe I'll try the blues. And even just black and white might be absolutely spectacular, monochrome. 
Rightio, my lovelies. Thank you so much for joining me again. Please be back tomorrow if you haven't subscribed. Hit the subscription button. It costs you absolutely nothing, but it does help me out. Thank you so much. Bye for now.